is James Calm, the guy on the bike. And today we're going to take a look at Jurgen Teller. Ukraine. And in Malpin. We got a little Berlin verse stand down here. I'll just read a little bit from the press release. Photographer Jurgen Teller will present his recent body of work, Ukraine, for his fourth exhibition at Lehman Malpin Gallery. Teller was commissioned along with four other artists by the Hemkuk Art Center to interpret the Ukraine for the 52nd International Venice Biennial. This exhibition marks the first time an expanded version along with other new works will be shown in the United States. Photographic interpretations of the Ukraine here. Yeah. Kind of unique the way they've got them displayed in those glass top tables. Well, that'll be a big seller. Paparazzi. Is that a Brazilian wax? Caviar. We've got a large selection of political posters or something here. Maybe these are employees of the month. Looks like a very fashionable crowd this evening. This is the latest in camping equipment here. The exhibition continues. So this is James Com reporting on Jurgen Teller. Geometric painting that plays with the, you know, the orthodox ideas of geometrical abstraction. This is untitled 2007 2008. 36 by 84. Precise and subtle color sense here. And these round corners really throws off the straight horizontal and vertical. Also untitled. The yellow is hot. Really quite a 
a bit of paint that she's built up here. And now we're talking with the artist Ruth Root here. Okay. You want to tell us a little bit about your latest series of paintings? Um, It seems like you're sort of playing some games with the standard uh, geometric forms. You're sort of changing the shape a little bit, uh, sort of tweaking the, the straight horizontal vertical a little bit, things like that. That is true. And the white images on the end are like ghost images. They kind of blend into the wall. Tell us a little bit about your colors. Um, You've got a great color sense. The colors are as if the color wheel is skewed to be like pink and brown. So you're going into more of the tertiary end of things. That is true. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. If okay. this is too bad, we'll edit it out. Thanks, Ruth. Thank Congratulations. You. The show looks okay. great. Thank you. This is also untitled. 70 by 56. Amy Silman and her little dog. So that's Ruth Root. Andrew Krebs Gallery at 25 West 22nd Street. Now we're at the Elizabeth Harris Gallery and we're going to take a little look, a brief look at Lundquist's industry. It's pandemonium in here. This is Monument to Open Sky 2. Greg is a recent graduate from Pratt Institute. And this series of landscapes are mostly of scenes from the Red Hook. The neighborhood of Brooklyn. This is called Red Hooks Residium. New products, new ideas, new designs. It's actually the construction side of the new IKEA. We've been working on down there for about the last year and a half. Got a very young crowd here. Ikea site. It's actually oil on stainless steel. Kind of a gunmetal sky here. It's called the Red Hook Revere Sugar Refinery. And I've driven by this on my bicycle dozens of times. Well, here's the artist right here, Greg Lindquist. Oh, somebody just spilled wine on him. Hey, Greg, you want to comment for the calm report? For the what? For the calm report? The calm report, yeah. What do you want to know? James well, tell us about your paintings. These are paintings of industrial Brooklyn becoming residential Brooklyn. Is that because you want to get a more of an industrial feel in the actual painting itself, or you just like the way it reflects the light? Both. Both. The materiality of the construction materials and the way that it reflects light, as you said, it makes an ominous atmosphere in the sky. So this is your big debut show here in Manhattan, right? It is. Way to go. Thanks, How James. long have you been working on this series of paintings? Nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Good for you. Now, are these, a lot of these uh, places have already been torn down and uh, That's right. yeah. other things have been put in their place, so you're actually sort of documenting a lot of the history of that part of the waterfront, exactly. right? Exactly, right. Okay, thanks. Thanks, James. Good luck. Okay. We're going to wrap up here at Elizabeth Harris and Greg Lindquist's industry. Thanks, Kate.